Frankfurt High School is proud to bring you episode number four of the Tradition of Excellence interviews. This episode brings you a Frankfurt alumni from the class of 1994, Laura Mullen. Laura was a swimmer and diver, along with being a member of cheer and many other clubs while she was at FHS. Laura talks about how her experience at FHS helped prepare her for her career. She's now the senior loan officer for Ruoff Mortgage Company and is involved in many other organizations within our community. Please enjoy episode number four of Tradition of Excellence. Hello, hot dogs. Thank you for joining me today for the fourth episode of Tradition of Excellence. I'm Malachi, and today we have Laura Mullen, Craig hot dog alumni, class of, what, 94, I think? Yeah, 1994, yeah. <laughs> well, welcome, Laura. Thank you. Uh, Glad to be here. <laughs> That's good to hear. Laura, I have a question. What were you involved with in high school? Um, I feel like I was kind of a joiner in high school. Um, but I, athletic wise, I was a swimmer and a diver. Um, my dad was a swim coach here at Frankfurt uh, for 30 years. So the, the, the pool is actually named after him, the Steve Mullen Aquatic mm -hmm. Center. So I grew up swimming, didn't really have a whole lot of choice, but loved it. <laughs> so luckily the, those two things uh, overlapped. Um, mm -hmm. But I swam and dove. Um, and then I also was a cheerleader um, for most of the years. Um, and then things like National Honor Society, um, Spanish Club, um, I did the Z Club, um, just kind of all the, all the different um, clubs that were right. available. Uh, I feel like um, joining things, volunteering, participating um, is pretty important to having a well-rounded life. And I think that high school really shaped me well for that. Um, and I translate that into what I do as an adult all the time. Um, I'm on the um, Frankfurt Education Foundation board and I'm on the Habitat for Humanity board and the, the um, Community Foundation board. So I really feel like giving back is an important part of um, being a successful and productive adult. And I think that high school really shaped me well for that. Mm -hmm. So you think the uh, well-roundedness of like being in a bunch of different uh, clubs and sports and stuff Absolutely. prepared you? Absolutely. Yep. I think I think not only does it uh, prepare you in just terms of uh, being a, a giving, functional, well-rounded adult, but it also helps with time management. Um, it helps with meeting people. Um, in in my job, uh, a lot of it goes to relationships and. Um, you know, having people refer people to me to do to do their mortgage, and it, it comes it comes down to who you know and and interpersonal relationships. And I think that that joining things in high school um, really set the stage for me to to be successful as an adult. That's great to hear. And you keep talking about mortgage. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you do now? Um, I'm a senior loan officer for Ruoff Mortgage. Um, it's a family-owned company based out of Fort, Fort Wayne. Um, and I'm in my fourth year there, but 20th year in the industry. Um, so I help people buy houses, um, buy, refinance, build, um, that type of thing. Um, it's a really, really rewarding uh, career um, in that, you know, I, financial decisions, especially um, buying a house is one of the biggest decisions people make. Um, and I get to be there and, and help, um, you know, help them choose their future, really. Um, you know, where they're going to live, how they're going to raise their family, um, that type of thing. So it, it's a cool job. Yeah. And you'd say that all of the clubs and sports and stuff you did prepared you? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, it, in, it, like I said, in terms of time management, um, when things are busy in mortgages, things are insanely busy. So you have to be able to multitask. You have to be able to be in the middle of one thing and get pulled into another thing and, and eventually get back to the first thing and really... Um, you know, be able to do multiple things at once and, and interact with different people um, at the same time. And, and I think that the, the foundation that I laid in high school really helped for that. That's great to hear. Yeah. And if you could go back to, say, when you were 16 years old, mm -hmm. what advice would you give yourself for this? Um, I think that I, if I had high school to do over again, I would, I did a very academic path um, and, and I'm, I'm happy with that, um, but I think I would have done a little bit more of the vocational things too. Um, I think that I flip houses. So I think <laughs> if, um, if I had taken a building trades class, I would be a lot more able to do some of the work myself rather than hiring out. And mm -hmm. I think those kind of skills um, are, are very real life skills. And I feel like I, I might've been better served 
uh, doing some of that versus strictly the the straight up full you know honors path of um, mm -hmm. I don't want to discount that because th that is important also and and the classes that I took helped me get scholarships to go to college and um, you know I, but I think that I would like to to um, you know maybe instead of a study hall take something that's a little more hands on. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, we want to thank you for coming in today. It's great to hear everything you have to say. Uh, your involvement, I'm sure it's going to help a lot of people in their future. Um, we want to, once again, thank you for joining us on the fourth episode of Traditions of Excellence. You're welcome. Well, Happy thank to you be very here. Much. Thanks for inviting me. It was nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. <laughs>